clip from God's Favourite Idiot, which premieres on Netflix this Wednesday. Congratulations on the Thank show. You. I think it's going to be a huge success. It's really fun. Melissa, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, tell us what the show's about. It is a show about a, a very, a very sweet, a very average man that God chooses uh, to be the messenger and to get the word out and to make people know that, you know, we're all in it together, yet doesn't tell him how to do that. And then also, if you were chosen by God and you went to your neighbor and said, hi, uh, I'm Clark, I've been chosen by God, people would be like, hey, crazy. Mm. So it's like, how do, you, how do you get the word out when no one believes you and you don't know what to say? And it's kind of just, you know, everybody's right and everybody's equally wrong, so... And it's really funny. It's just a bunch of, like, unbelievably funny people doing very weird things. And then this was an idea you had more than 20 years ago, which is a long time to hold on to an idea. What was it about now? Why did you choose to make it now? Well, I, I wrote a book with the same title in my 20s and then sort of showed it to a few people and then weirdly just put the book in a drawer and was like, that? I did that. Um, <laughs> see in 23 see years. See in 23 years. And then, uh, I think, what, three years ago, we were talking about something fun to do next, and I think you might have even said should... I just always loved the idea of it. I read it when we, you know, first met, and I loved the idea of it as, like, if you would pick somebody. It's not the biggest, the strongest, the loudest. It's kind of the kindest, most trustworthy person, and it's hard for that person to especially in today, today's world, it's hard for that kind of person to get the microphone or get the light. Mm. So it's it's kind of like a perfect setup for he's just trying to get the word out and people are like, you know, on the yeah. street and he's trying and we're this weird band of like IT workers. And so we all kind of get into it and try to help him. But I'm like, a, I drink too much. I t my character takes pills. And so she's at any point trying to help, but well-meaning, but Yeah, uh, she's not strange. super trustworthy. Um, <laughs> Well, I wouldn't have said that. Harry Styles' music is all over this show. Mm -hmm. Yes, it okay, is. Okay, now, Ben, I know that you're a huge fan. Melissa, are you as into him as Ben is? Yes. I oh. think he's just great. He's wonderful. I think he's wildly talented, and I just love everything that he's so, like, he's such his own person. Like, and not just style in the sense of fashion, but being, being like, this is, this is who I am, this is how I want to present myself and kind of move through the world. And I think it's such a, it just seems, it's such a lovely thing to see someone just be like, I'm okay with who I am. I mean, he's also a massive rock, rock star, so maybe it's not that tough. Now that I, now that <laughs> that, I yeah, it backwards, If you actually maybe. parse it through, it's like he's incredibly attractive, he's incredibly talented, he can sing, he can do anything, and I'm like, he can wow, act. wow, how can he yeah. do that? Um, <laughs> now that I've said it out yeah, loud. He's so at peace in his outrageous <laughs> global success. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing to see. All right, now, well, was now it? it seems weird. But, but Ben, talk to me about what was the decision in, in, in putting his music all over the show? Well, uh, Georgie, our youngest, was listening to tons of Harry Styles, and then I Learning was... Learning to play it on piano. And she was playing on piano, and I was going over the top by even listening to more, like, that's not a normal dad thing to do. I was like, well, let's, let's play it again, re-rack yeah. this. Um, <laughs> And then I started listening to it uh, while I was writing the show. And I just thought, well, let me just actually write in the songs that I would like to get. Mm -hmm. And then we got them. <laughs> and that was and like, like I, couldn't, really? I couldn't believe it. It was like sort of, and it was, you know, you, once you see the show, it, it is important. Like it all kind of yeah. mi you know, mixes and matches together. But they, they came back, Harry or his team came back so fast and said, sure. So it was amazing. I mean, we were completely amazing. shocked. I was shocked. I'm not shocked at all. It's a great show, and he's a lovely boy, and the three of you should run off into a commune together. Uh, That's right. Reggie, That's right. Reggie, do you have a question for our guests this evening? Yes, I do, James. <laughs> uh, tonight's question goes to... Uh, for our guests this evening, uh, the question is as follows. If you suddenly woke up one morning, like you went to bed normally like you normally do in your room, but when you woke up, you woke up in a room that was filled with uh, parakeets or some equivalent type of a colorful bird, um, and maybe, maybe about 50 of them. And um, they weren't particularly active, just kind of like hanging out, maybe you know, waddling around like birds do, and maybe making very slight noises. Um, how, how would you react? <laughs> I'm very terrified of birds. Nothing against them. Someone gasped. I'm sorry. Someone was like, oh, birds, no. Um, so I would probably uh, get real jacked up, start crying, not wanting to disrupt them, and then just try to claw my way out of that room. 
am I in the same room as her? <laughs> because if I was in the same room, I think it would just be damage control <laughs> for this one. And if I was in my own room, I think I'd just quietly, like, slink out of there. I don't really love a bird, but I don't care either way. <laughs> Reg? Uh, that's, uh, actually, those, those, are, those, are, those are correct answers. They're absolutely <laughs> correct. Please thank our phenomenal guests, Melissa McCarthy, Ben Falco. Stick around. Rufus Wainwright is here when we come back. That's why we'll be right back with Rufus and the Wainwrights, a great band featuring the Wainwrights. Uh, from